Mount up. What's up, everybody? This is Jason, zombie collector extraordinaire, and extraordinarily collecting zombies since 1987. Pull the bow. That's the plan, guys. Man, I think this might be the very first time I've ever went live within less than 30 seconds. Three people hopped on. That's awesome. Apparently, I need to I start I need to start showing uh 1990 score boxes, and that just gets everybody all janked up. So yeah, I got the whole box. Got the whole box ready to rock and roll hoochie coo. So yeah, I'm gonna open up some 1990 score. Hey, what is up? What's up? Alex is in the his A. So we are going to do some 1990 score. I uh, went to four sharp corners in beautiful picture X Greenfield, Indiana uh, today after work. That's awesome. Uh, that's very awesome, Micah. Yeah, man, of course. You're going to get all the Cubans, dude. All the Cubanos coming your way. Uh, now, I'm probably not going to uh, send these off to get uh, graded or anything. Hey, what's up, Alan? I just think it'd be fun to get get a Bo Jackson, get that card. Um, but as you can see here, I bought the whole box. The whole box for six ninety nine, and then I bought me a little stack of uh, PC cards with Barry Larkin there on the front, and uh, so I picked those up, and I uh, came home to a care package. Yeah. Uh, I came home to a care package, and I've already did a video with Luca, and that care package, uh, <laughs> Bono's hip replacement, that care package that came to me was uh, it was otherworldly. It was amazing. I already sent a few people a, a picture of the the uh, cream of the crop of that care package, the the crown jewel. But there was a, I could have sent I could have sent tons of uh, stuff, dude. I could have sent a ton of stuff. So. With that being said, let's get into this bad boy. What are we looking for in 1990 score? We got the Bo Jackson we already know about. Uh, is there a Frank Thomas rookie card in there? Uh, what else? Is there anything else in there that we uh, that we would want? The Frank Thomas rookie card. Hey, what's up, Victor? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, Bernie Williams. That's true. All right, let's take a look and see. I'm only going to show if there's anything to get excited about. I'm not going to show a bunch of this random cards. I need that one. I love that card right there, Nolan Ryan. The 5,000 strikeouts right there. That's a good way to start. Exactly. These cards you got it, dude, are nasty. Got a little Tom Glavin action. This is a fourth-year card, I believe. So that's good. Let's keep on trucking. Got a lot of Cincinnati Reds in this first pack, so that's good. All right. I'll keep trying to look up and see. So we will take a gander. All right. Let's keep on trucking. Got a dream team of Terry Steinbeck. Got old dream team right here. They're beautiful just like the 90s. Oh, that's nice. Nothing wrong with pulling a Nolan Ryan. You know that's right, Alan. Yes, Henry, this week has been a lot better than last week. That is for sure. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking, sir. Yes, it was a much better week than last week. Got a Moises Alou rookie card. I didn't even know he was with the Pirates. 
So, yeah, PC Nolan Ryan, dude. If I I don't think I have that card, but if I do, I will uh, send. I'll, I'll hold it for you, Alan. All right, let's keep on, keep it on. P. Nahu. <laughs> All right, let's keep on trucking. Keith, Kiki Jones. Oh, Kiki Jones. Minnesota. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll, I'll definitely hold off the Minnesota players if you want them, dude. Oh, somebody said he filmed a burning sensation. Uh-oh. I am trying to go through this. this is a pretty nice clip. You don't need all these cards, Micah. You don't need all these 1990 score cards. Are you sure, buddy? I'm more than happy to send them your way. Got another dream team, Bobby Thigpen. Old Figgy. Old Figgy. All right, so far, not in Chilada. Yeah, he was. He was a beast. You got the 10 cent box, huh, Henry? That's nice. I got me a little stack of uh, cards that were the quarter cards. He has, uh, Tracy has like four or five, maybe six boxes of quarter cards. And I always go over there, and he's always putting new stuff in. I could have came out of there with like fifty dollars worth of quarter cards. I was trying to keep it classy and not go crazy, so I only got like four or five dollars worth. Uh oh, here we go! Another another dream team of Mitch Williams, Mitch the Witch Williams. Oh, we got Harold Jim Baines eleven. <laughs> nice. Oh, here's a Bo Jackson. I don't have this one. This is a cool one. I almost bought this card today for a quarter, but I will take it for free out of the box. I know. I can't help it, dude. Oh, yeah. Go crazy by everything. You got that right. Nice. Jabs family style, you better believe it. We got Baines. Everybody got Baines up in here. Hey, what's up, JC? What's up, dude? So I'm happy with this Bo Jackson. I'm going to get this one. All right, I'm going to get that one. That one's definitely... uh. We're going to get that one uh, a slab cannon on that one. Oh, slab cannon on that one. Yes. Uh, oh, my goodness. The greatest Hall of Famer to ever play the game. Oh, here we go. We got some uh, Andre Dawson. Yeah, there you go. It's a beautiful car from a beautiful set. You know, oh, here we go. We got Wade Boggs. Nice action shot of Monsignor Boggs. Kurt Gibson. Bo Diaz. There's more than one Bo back in the 90s. Bo Diaz. Don't forget about Bo. Well, I don't watch his videos because I got better taste and sense than that, John. And as you should as well, sir. Sir. Oh, Chili Davis. Oh, guys. Oh, 
guys. It just happened. It just happened right there. Got it. Boom. It just happened, dude. Oh, my goodness. Man, we're only 10 minutes in and I pulled it, dude. <laughs> yes. That is a Gem Mint 10 right there all day long. Let me get some, uh, let me get some, uh, penny sleeves. Let's get some penny sleeves together out here. Uh, oh man, that was all the penny sleeves I want. Gym Mint 13, you probably got it. Yeah, you know it's real. It's live. It's live. All of a sudden, it's like super nervous to get a 12 cent card into a in here. Boom, boom, guys! It actually happened live on YouTube. I pulled it six packs in. You got to do Bo knows. 1990 score right here. I pulled it live and in color. I need I need uh I need at least 10 likes for this guys. I need 10 thumbs up. <laughs> Dude, it was I was awesome. I can't believe I pulled that right out of the gate. That is awesome, man. And we, yeah, I'm glad somebody did that because when I said I want 10 likes, I don't I actually want 10 thumbs down. Because that's just people getting jealous because of my awesomeness. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes. This is gonna be I'm gonna get this a gym mint 10 so I can make it. I was looking online today, some of them are going for 120, 130 bucks. I'm still looking for the flat the Vlad Jr. Uh, JT, but it's coming, dude. B.O. baby. Share this video. Tell your tell your grandkids about it. Oh, my gosh, dude. I can't believe it, man. I watched two or three of these videos, and these guys, um, and uh, they didn't pull it. And I, I, I pulled it right, in, right out of the gate, man. That is awesome. I feel like I should just turn the video off now. We got Jose Canseco right in here, too. Oh, Jose Canseco. We got a Kurt Schilling. Man, that's awesome. I can't believe I pulled that. That's great. Share. Yeah, I need I need subs, I need likes, I need comments, guys. So I'm all about I'm all about the the I'm all about the subs. I need because I, I can't sleep at night knowing that I only have 200 and like 80 ish subscribers. I need at least about 500 before the end of the summer. Uh, is there error cards in here? Kurt Henning, yeah. Super chats, everybody. Make sure you pay me with some super chats. Willie Green. Willie Green. There's a there's a bunch of error cards in here. Okay, I didn't know about that. Got Dave Parker. We got Mark Gray's. We got Ken Griffey Sr. Got another Kurt Schilling. That's two Kurt Schilling rookie cards. I'll take them. And Patron, yes. Oh my goodness. Is that Kurt Schilling actually? Is that his real rookie card? Or is that just like they say it's his rookie, but really it's like his 30 year card? Frank Tennant in an air. Oh, we got Jim Abbott. Another PC guy of mine. Jim Abbott, second year cards. Yeah, I thought so. We got Jim Abbott. We got some Dennis Eckersley, another Hall of Famer. I invented sliced bread. 
Another Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor. Roger McDowell, Bud Black, Gene Harris, Jack Morris. There's a Hall of Famer, Jack Morris. Mark Langston. Steven Jeltz. Jeltz. Hey, back. Wouldn't that be crazy if I pull another bow? Dude, that'd be awesome if I pull another Bo Jackson. That'd be awesome. Oh, Barry Bonds, Barry Lamar Bonds. When he still looked like a human being and not a not a superhero. No stopping. A nine Don Russ was yeah, that's why I thought it was his only this is only rookie card, but then it said rookie on there, and I'm like, what? Yes, you better believe it. For $25 a month, it's a much better deal than Filmington's uh, Rookie Card Explosion Box. I'll send you a business card from Four Sharp Corners, an autograph checklist card from me, one pack of 1990 Don Rest. I might even throw an 89 Don Rest pack in there as well. And that'll be just $25.99. And then it's a reoccurring uh, charge of $84.22 every month. So, yeah. You got jazz, Bo. Yeah, I'm gonna bow. I'll be Bach. Oh, we got another Jim Abbott. Boom. This must be the exact same pack. So I just got a Jim Abbott and a Dennis Eckersley back to back. Kevin Mitchell. Robin Ventura rookie card. Rookie card, maybe. Oh man, somebody. Yeah. Right when you right when you get ready to hit something, uh, a, a text came through. I got that's got a text from Raphael hitting Jim. All right, yeah, flogging Molly. Yeah, oh, boom, the man, the myth, the absolute Phillies legend. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Jeff Jackson, Bob Grinton, Bill Landrum, Keith Moreland, Bill Duran, Charlie Huff, Todd Worrell, Worrell, depending on where you're from. All right, let's keep on trucking. Hitting, hitting gems. Hitting. What about kitten gems? Bip Roberts. Doc Gooden. There we go. We got some Doc Good in action. We got Dave Winfield right behind him. Yeah. Oh, I've never even seen this car before. This is cool. I like this. This is a Lights Out Candlestick Park card. I've never seen this card before. That's a cool card. I'm gonna slab that. I'm gonna slab that slab. And I'll uh, Daryl Strawberry. I guess I'll put that one off to the side. People like straw. Robin Ventura. Is this Robin Ventura's actual rookie card? Probably not. I gotta get some more pin of sleeves. Let me see if I can find them in my little bag over here. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Raphael's blowing up my phone, man. It's like crazy. I can't believe he's like, texting me that much. I didn't know we we're going steady. I gotta get another penny. I gotta get me my penny sleeves out. So I wanna, I wanna uh, sleeve up this other Bo Jackson card. Got the Bo Jackson right there. Want to get that's a good action shot. A bow. Got the candlestick park, which was a cool one. And then got the Nolan Ryan highlights card. 
I'm gonna put that one in a old penny sleeve as well. Well, I mean, we didn't get the money. A dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Waiting for the great Jeffries. You better believe it. I'm a, hey, Brandon, what's up? I'm opening up 1990 score. Hey, you'll remember this, dude. Remember this? I just pulled this out of a pack of, uh, out of a, a $7 box of cards I got at the card shop. Right there, dude. I got the Bo Jackson. Remember that card? We used to pull these cards when we were kids, dude. This card right now, Brandon, if you get, if they get a, if you get this card graded right now, uh, if it's a Jim Mint 10 with PSA, this card's going for between $80 to $120. Normally, this card all day long is like a quarter raw. And I just pull this card. I don't know if I'm going to get it graded necessarily because that's not really my style. But it's fun to pull the card all the same. There's a bunch of error cards. I had no idea. Yeah, I'm looking for the autographs of this box, man. I'm not getting it yet. There's no autographs. This is lame. Yeah, you can't get much better than that. Hey. What's up, John? Nothing much, brother. Just opening some packs. Yeah, you, you Victor, you got slip of 20. That's right. A $17, a $17 uh submission now actually costs $37 to make sure you get the Special, the VIP treatment. You got to get the PWCC treatment. Oh, got a Randy Johnson big unit. So I've been, somebody's been checking the bowl pantalones again. Big unit. Uh-oh, Victor. Boom. Boom. You got it right here, Bernie Williams, the burn. Burn. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. I got to uh, hold on a minute, guys. I got to. There we go. I'm back. Don't worry. I just had to charge because it was. Tell me my battery's about ready to die, so. Best pull the box, huh? Deion Sanders has a rookie card in here, like a real rookie card. All right, let's take a look here. What else am I going to pull? Oh, this is cool. This is a cool card. I don't think I had this card either. I like these horizontal cards like this. Um, Will Clark. That's a cool card. I really like that card. I'm going to gonna pity sleeve that one up too. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Just put it in. Oh, Dion, Dion, Dion Sanders. Boom. We were just talking about it. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it just we just talked. That's what she said. Neon Dion getting that one. Man, that, that's awesome. I got a Bernie Williams, and right after that, I got a Neon Dion Sanders. All right, let's keep on trucking. I haven't got through half the box yet. I'm ready to pass out from awesomeness. Hey, what's up, sister? Slip it in, Jason. You better slip, better slip it in. Oh, Slippy. Alan Trammell. Talking about old Slippy. Him and Lou Whitaker. Him and Sweet Lou. Him and Sweet Lou, they did some sweet slipping.
All right, that pack of the old, uh, old Alan Trammell. Yeah, dude. I, hey, Gary, I, I I cracked it and got this card out of the out of the box. That was pretty awesome. I just paid for like the next thirty boxes with that one. Yeah, I can't believe it, dude. I've been watching so many people open these boxes, and they, they haven't been able to pull it, and I pulled it with like six packs in. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's up, Caden? Joe. Caden Downey? That's awesome. Oh, everybody's favorite. Uh, Want to be... Uh, Oh, what do you want to say? Want to be uh, Nolan Ryan, Ben McDonald, which oh, had a farm, E I E I O. You, are you trying to tell me to be quiet, Luca? You want me to be quiet? I see. All right, we got Jerome Walton, Felix Hernandez, Joe Carter, Greg Jeffries. All right, buddy. Thanks, Caden. I appreciate it, big guy. Boom, Barry Larkin. Yeah, Barry Larkin. He is here, ready to thrill and amaze. Oh, that's a cool story, Micah. I like that. That's cool. Then you can go see him. There's some childhood friends. They knew him back when he was just a little, a little tyke. Oh, guys, it just happened again. Well, not again. At least for me, the first time. Boom. Frank Thomas rookie card. This is a rookie card explosion box. Who knew? Man, look at that, dude. Oh, my goodness. I think this is like a Jim Mint 10. So, yeah. I can't believe I just pulled that card out, dude. That's awesome. The two cards you really want to hit in this box I got. There we go. Got to take it easy. Take it easy. Don't be sleazy. Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to alter. I'm going to probably um, just uh, conservate, conserve this card. Probably do a little trim, a little alteration up here in the corner. Just to make sure you know it gets that uh, gets that ten that it deserves. That is awesome, dude. So right here, guys, just pull both these cards in the last twenty so minutes. That is awesome. Frank Thomas rookie card explosion box. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, another kind of cool story that happened today or yesterday was that there's a lady I work with. And uh, hold on, let me put that cards down. I just tell you all so I can focus on the story. It is definitely PWCC worthy. I, I completely agree with you on that, John. But there's a lady I work with, and her son played um, baseball at the college down the road. And uh, it's called Ball State. And it's an NCAA school. It's a smaller school, but it's, you know, a, a legit NCAA school. And he played baseball for them. He'd been there for a year. He just finished up his freshman year at Ball State. And uh, he during the amateur draft two days ago, he was picked first round 
for the Arizona Diamondbacks. There's a pitcher. His name's Dre Jamison, D-R-E-Y. Um, yes, he's a really good he's a really good coach. But yeah, and uh, he got picked up first round, twenty fourth pick in the draft by the Diamondbacks. Actually, Randy Johnson, who obviously is a pitcher, announced his name to another pitcher that the Diamondbacks picked him in the first round. And it's kind of cool to hear his mom talk about it because they called him early in the week and said, hey, we're interested in you, Dre. Are you still interested in coming, be a part of the organization? And they said, yeah. He, I mean, he said, yeah, he was still interested. And they said, okay, well, we're letting you know that we're really considering you to be picked up. They didn't really say when and how and if. They just say they wanted to gauge and make sure they didn't, you know, waste a pick, basically, if he didn't want to go. And uh, so they called him literally when the 23rd pick was called out. They called him again and said, hey, Dre, are you sure you want to – are you sure you're, you're good to go? You're ready to become a – you know, you're ready to go to our farm system and be, and, and be drafted. And he's like, yeah, guys, I'm ready. I'm not going to change my mind. And so they went ahead and said, all right. And then Randy Johnson stepped up to the, the, the a microphone and said they're picking Dre Jamison as a 24 pick for the draft. And that was so cool. And so he uh, his mom came to work the next day and told all of us that he got drafted. That was so awesome that uh, uh, a kid – and he, th- he throws in the high 90s and he can touch 100 – but mostly he's a, a mid nineties to a, a high nineties pitcher, so he has a lot of upside. So it's really cool. I mean, of course, like anything else, he's still a kid. So you know, we all know that doesn't mean that you're going to automatically get a uh, uh, get a call to the major league baseball. Or things you might not ever even step on the uh, major league baseball field. But it's super cool that he got picked. Uh, he got guaranteed, you know, signing bonus money. So that was so awesome to see that a. Uh, uh, the the mom I worked with, her son got picked up in the draft in the first round. He got a sign-up bonus of two point one million dollars, so that ain't too shabby. And then uh, I asked her if she would sign, if she would ask her son Dre to sign a baseball for Luca, and she was like, "Oh yeah, just I'll get him to sign a baseball. I'll bring it into you, or you can give me one, or I'll whatever." So I'm gonna get a baseball signed by him for Luca. So I'm pretty excited for Luca because he'll have a cool. Uh, Kind of a cool story to go along with a local boy going uh, number one draft pick. And then if he ends up making him big, then, you know, hey, you've got an autographed baseball. So that's kind of a cool story, I thought. Yeah, it makes your mama proud, that's for sure. <laughs> Is he going to buy a car? I don't know. Yeah, then I'm going to send it to PSA to get a PSA DNA for sure. Oh, this is a cool card here, too. I won't show that. You know it, buddy. I got to get that PSA DNA slab. For sure. Yeah, here you go. Here's one of those uh, World Series cards. Game three. I like that. I think that's, that's like... Uh, Oh, I got some haters in here. Haters. Been drinking that hater right up in here. I don't think the I don't think the haters got the memo that I don't care about that kind of stuff. Dude, Jesse. Jesse. Justin Bieber, man, dude. I hope you got my message. I hope you got my message on your channel, dude. Everybody. You need if you have not if you have not went to Think Blue Seventy Seven's channel and subscribe. You need to go right now and go to. He is criminally. He's like the crime dog of our baseball community. Not represented. Jesse is, is an, he has an amazing channel. You all need to go subscribe to Jesse Think Blue Seventy Seven. Not just because he's a friend. But he sent me the most amazing care package, dude. It is like I filmed it live. Me and Luca opened it together. And, I mean, it was amazing. I mean, it was absolutely amazing care package. I mean, I just could not believe the care package he sent me, man. It was – dude, I am I, I am flabbergasted. 
I mean, seriously, dude, you need to, you need to, I need to give you my phone number or whatever. You need to, we need to talk. Absolutely unreal. Unreal, dude. That care package, man, it kept getting better and better and better. I mean, like, I, I honestly, if it wasn't for my son sitting next to me the whole time, I probably got emotional. I try not to cry too much in front of him. I kind of want to think his dad's such a baby. But probably too late. He probably already knows. But, oh, my gosh, dude. It is the, the care package. I cannot even imagine, dude. It was absolutely amazing. That Trust me, man. You got to watch the entire video. It's like 20 minutes long. But I should say it's 20 minutes short because the first part is a bunch of really great PC cards and players. And it's like keeps crescendo, crescendo, crescendo. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm not just saying that because Jesse's in here right now. I mean, it's it's like how to make a grown man cry 2.0. It was like watching uh, Mulan for the first time. And I'm like, <sighs> oh, JT, Triple Crown 24, Chris Sabo for you. So my friend came. He's never seen you. He's never seen you before. And he goes, Luca, if uh, if I if we if we kill you, then you have to show your face on the camera. Okay, so come on over here. Your face on the camera. <laughs> There's my good looking son. Look at that good looking boy. When he gets in high school, I gotta be careful about him. He's already trying to talk about girlfriends, so I gotta be careful about that guy. Oh, yeah, Alex Bowman 53, Lucas said, hey, you're the new co-host. Sweet Lou Whitaker, Ryan Sandberg. Dude, seriously, uh, Jesse, I, it was absolutely amazing, dude. If my son didn't, like, preface everything by going, oh, my gosh, Dad, oh, my gosh, Dad, oh, you're going to love this, Dad, you're going to love it. You know, I would have probably like lost my not lost my mind, but I was kind of getting myself prepared a little bit because of how big of a stink he was making on every single thing he was showing me. He was like, "You're not gonna believe it, Dad. You're not gonna believe it." So I was just like, Wah! like a crazy person. Oh, hey, Brent, hey, Luca, Uncle Brandon said, "What's up, my nephew?" Yeah, Luca just finished fourth grade. Actually, he got his report card today, and they said, congratulations, you're going to fifth grade. So that's good. So, yeah, I'm so proud of him. He was in the honors program, and he made A-B honor row every, every uh, semester that he finished off the year with all A's and B's. And he had, like, five A's and two B's for the year. It was awesome. I was so proud of him. So, yeah, I, I am a proud, proud papa. Oh, it's your lucky day, Alan. That's the second Nolan Ryan card I pulled for you. So. Yes. I should have him, like, inter do the introduction. Like, have him sit here. And then just, like, open up the open up the a video with that statement. Hey, Luca. Oh, he's already back playing Fortnite. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, nothing's better than uh, having having your kids just be amazing, and I'm I'm blessed with my son. Totally blessed every day by him, without a doubt. Bernie Williams rookie card cannot touch the fact that my son is an uh, amazing young man. He is definitely uh, makes me proud. Yeah, man, for sure. He stuck with a half of me. That's true. Much to his chagrin. So, yes. I'm just looking to see if there's any cars to get excited about. In that pack, there was not an enchilada. Yeah, we're leaving tomorrow morning to go to Sandusky, Ohio for a three-day three day tournament. So we'll be there Friday through Sunday. It depends on how well we do on Sunday. We might end up having to stay till Monday. 
I got Monday off too, just on the safe side, which would be nice. Um, I, I would like, oh, Lee Smith's a Hall of Famer now. I forgot about that. So, yeah. Boom, Ricky Henderson. That's a good card. So yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sleeve that one up next. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a travel baseball starting tomorrow morning. Me, him, and Luke and Luca's mom are all going together uh, to the to the to the game. The first game's around three. So if you all live in the Sandusky area, if you want to watch some baseball, we love to see you there. We love to have you come and visit. Oh, yeah, dude. Seriously, John, you're going to make me cry, dude. Seriously. When I look at my son, like, I see, like, so much of me in him is, like, literally unbelievable. I mean, like, seriously, it's unbelievable. Hey, Luca. JT said good luck tomorrow. Luca goes, thank you, JT. Another, another, uh, Ricky Henderson. Oh, we got some Cypress Hill. My brother's favorite brand, bam, my brain is still around. He'll love, he loves this group. My brother used to watch, play this music a lot in the 90s in his basement with some, with, with, uh, some help. Like today, he went to a uh, carnival. We have a carnival here in town where we live. They have a like, one week long carnival. And he's just now getting into the fact that he likes to ride carnival rides and he's like enjoys it. And uh I know you love it, Brandon. I know you love some Cypress Hill. But um uh it was he was asking me, Well, hey dad, were you scared when you're young when you're little to be on rides? And I go, anything that didn't go upside down, I was fine with. I liked riding carnival rides, and actually me and my brother would go all the time. Whenever we had carnivals in the area or theme parks, we'd get on the tilt a whirl or the the teacups or whatever they were called, and we would do all kinds of stuff. Brandon, my brother, was a lot more brave than I was, and he would do a lot of the the um, the uh, actual like roller coasters and things. But he was asking me to kind of gauge how I was when I was his age, and I said, "Hey, man, all the ones that went fast and spun around, I was around. I, I like those." And he was like, oh, okay, can you kind of see if, if how scared or not scared should he be? And I was like, hey, you just do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Don't go out there and do something you don't want to do because if you get scared and you're stuck on the ride, there ain't nothing you can do. You're done. Like, you got to wait till the ride's over. Steamboat days, you got to believe it, dude. Yeah, steamboat days, back when it was still cool. Steamboat days, Jerseyville steamboat days. Going insane. Will Clark. Oh, we got an Audie Smith. Bing into the Chiba. The only Chiba I recognize is Chibaka. Chibaka. We got a we got that's a good action shot of Bo Jackson. Because Bo knows baseball. Willa McGee, the most handsomest man in the world. The most handsomest. I'm going crazy. Oh, here we go. Got a Ryan Samberg. What is the error on the Bo Jackson, dude? What is the error on the Bo Jackson? I'm looking at it right now. What is the Bo? We got some Tupac coming up in here. All right, I'll look at it later. I'll put it over here in my in my stack. Uh, hold on, wait. I got to be careful. This one's a little bit too risky. Got a, that one's a little bit too risque. Too, huh? Uh-oh. I thought Luca was talking to me. You talking to me? You talking to me? Oh, guys. 
Oh, guys, I hope you're sitting down. I hope you're sitting down. Because, boom, I just got another one, Bo Jackson. Oh, my gosh, dude, that's, that's two in this box. With some Dr. Dre, with some Snoop Dogg. I just got it. Just pulled another Bo Jackson. Yes, right there, ladies and gents. And when I say ladies, I mean my brother. Dude, I cannot believe that one. Yeah, this one's numbered 697. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe I got two. Sweet. Yeah, I think so. Man, that is awesome. I can't believe that, dude. Holy smokes. There you go, right there. That is awesome, dude. I can't believe I pulled two of them in the same box. A lot of people won't even pull in one. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. It's a hot box. You got that right, Victor. It's a hot box. So hot box. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. That was awesome. That's that that's paying for Lucas College right there. When I get those graded. When I get this graded, oh, we got a Cal Ripken a Jr. I probably am going to pull a Honus Wagner. You're probably a Honus Wagner rookie card. I'm going to take these uh, Bo Jacksons to the National and get them graded. Oh, here's a cool one. Here's a cool card. The Oakland A's, baby. The Oakland A's all celebrating right before the eight. The the Cincinnati Reds would go on to sweep them. Oh, is this right? Is this a is this his real rookie card? Is this really Larry Walker's rookie card? The nineteen ninety Expos. Score is that his rookie card or is that not his rookie card? That's the first lay walker I pulled. Oh, is there? I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pull these packs. Oh, it is a walker rookie card. All right, cool. I'm gonna. Sleeve it up, baby. Sleeve it. Sleeve it and leave it. Oh, was there a way to find out about the Bo Jackson? Whoa. Boom. Was there some kind of like way to know about the Bo Jackson? Was there some kind of like correlation to the Bo Jackson or something? Fra Fred McGriff, Crow Crime Dog, Willie Green. Oh, I got another Larry Walker. Boom. I like that. Larry Walker. Boom. Got another Larry Walker rookie card. I'll take it. I put these, I gotta put these cards back in here now. One moment, guys, while I put these cards back in here. I'm trying to get clean up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Clean up a little bit here. No, if you don't know, you gotta know. Oh my goodness. All right, got some. I got the cards. Basically, got the cards in there now. Ugh. All right, cool. Got them. Most of them. Thank you. I think you're right, dude. The greatest break in all the history of box breaks, right here. You all got to see it live and in color, for sure. Walt Waltham is misspelled on the No man, they were all over the place. To answer your question. Let me look at this Bo Jackson you're telling me about. Oh wait, did I just skip it? Oh here it is, Bo Jackson. Yeah, I don't I was I I don't know where it came from. Second line, you said Waltham is misspelled. Yeah, it says Watham. Watham. It should be Waltham. Yeah, so it's W A T H A M. So I guess I got the error card. Nice. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, here we go. I like this. I like this. Uh, we got a uh, Wade Boggs here. Yeah, you're right, Brandon. Second to last line, so that's the error card. I got it's a whack ham. Got old whack ham. Jack Morris, rookie cover, not rookie cover, Hall of Famer. Oh, I gotta get that Larry Walker. I gotta put that Larry Walker in a penny sleeve. I don't know if I'm gonna sleeve up another of one of my top loaders on that one, but I always put them in a penny sleeve, protect them. So, it's thirty dollars on eBay. Jeez, if it's graded or just raw, sure that can't be a, a raw price. Barry Bonds, nine men. All right, I'll take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting me a lot of cards graded. Looks like from this uh, box. If I could pull one more Frank Thomas, that'd be great, too. I got three more packs. Uh, is it an uncorrected air, guys, or is there a correct version also of that Bo Jacks? They go back and correct it or not? Oh, we got Mo Vaughn, the poor man's big poppy. The poor man's big poppy. Delano the Shields in the cities. I did pull the Will Clark insert. I think. Are you talking about this, Will Clark? Or no, you're talking about something else. Another Alan Trammell. Omar Vizquel. Yep. Then I got me a Mike Scott. There's another Dream Team. Julio Franco, Will the Thrill. Yep, so obviously you saw that I had that. Why, is there something, is there an error card with the Will the Thrill also? Last pack. Last pack. Am I going to get any last pack mojo? I mean, I already had a pretty good mojo, so... I don't think so. Got Del Murphy. 
Another Terry Steinbach. That sucks. Two of the exact same Dream Team cards. That's lame. Oh, we got a Wong gone. I don't know if that's his actual rookie card, Juan Gonzalez rookie card or not. Maybe somebody can tell me that's his real rookie card or not. I don't think that's his real rookie card. I think his rookie is 89, but... You're not going to believe it, Andy, but I busted two of them, dude. I got two... Bo Jackson cards and one Frank Thomas out of this box of cards, dude. I got for a seven dollar. And they're like really nice, they're like really nice. They're definitely PWCC candidates. I picked up a couple of Larry Walker rookie cards, also, a bunch of um. Bunch of cards that I like in general. Like, uh, I got the other Bo Jackson card that's really cool. Right here. You got the Bo Jackson. I got the Will Clark. I like this Will Clark a lot. I got two of the Ricky Hendersons. And I got two of the I got two of the Noel Ryans. And I got, I, I didn't even know this card existed. I thought it was really cool. Lights out candlestick. It's a great looking card. Probably not worth anything, but I just thought it was a cool looking card. I didn't even know that card existed. So. Oh, and I got the yeah, Air Bow card. It apparently goes for like around 30 bucks in a Gym Mint 9 uh, because it's misspelt. Waltman is spelt Watham. And I got the, it says here at the bottom, if you look right there, it says Watham. Yeah, definitely worth $7, that's for sure. Actually, I probably should go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up too now that I know that it's a possible candidate to get a graded or whatever. I mean, it looks pretty good center to me, and I don't know. It looks pretty nice. West side. So we got the card right here. So my, I got, I got Bo Jackson fever going on right now. So. Apparently so. John, I'll have to go through and see that. Yeah, it was awesome, guys. I really appreciate you all hanging out here with me and let me open up this bad boy with you all watching. I didn't know what to expect. If it was going to end up being anything good or just end up being um, kind of a bust. And I was fine with it being a bust because I knew that I was going to get at least, hopefully, 20, 30 cards of... Um, you know, PC guys, I collect. I collect all the All Stars and Hall of Famers from the '80s and '90s. So I mean, I knew I was going to get cards I like. Um, and seven dollars of enjoyment was going to be worth it just to open the packs. But when I pull out two of the Bo Jackson cards that are like sought after, the Frank Thomas rookie, two Larry Walkers, the Air Bo Jackson, and then not even including this whole stack of cards that are going into my PC. I mean, you know, I, I did all right for myself. I think, you know, it could have been way worse. So I think I'm okay with it. Then I got me a stack of cars that I picked up from the local car shop also that I uh, hit the quarter box and picked up like $4 worth of cards. So, so I'm pretty cool with this with this stack as well. Yeah, man, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Let me try to get this. Whoops. Awkward. 
put this up here. All right. Did y'all want to see the cards I picked up at the card shop? Or y'all don't really care that much? So, these are all the cards I picked up at the card shop. I can show you if you want. If y'all want to stay, if y'all want to stay for a few more minutes, I'll show you the cards I picked up. These are all cards I either don't have, or they might have been upgrade condition wise. So I don't mind showing if y'all have a few extra minutes and take a look. Whoa. <laughs> I'll remember you even when you get your thousand subs. If I want to hit a thousand subs, dude. It'll be in about like eight years because at the rate I'm going now, I get like about for every year, every year I get about, I've been on the, I've been on the YouTube now for about a year and a half. I started in 2017, like November. And here we are like a half into the year now. So a year and a half and I'm at 280 ish subs. So, so every like basically two years I'll get about 200. So yeah. So let's see. And the first up is a U Darvish insert mini. With the 1987 borders, which I just absolutely love. All these cards I'm going to show you were a quarter, no matter who the player is or whatever. So I got that one that I picked up uh, Tops Heritage. Sorry, a Bowman Heritage, Barry Larkin. I did not have that card. So I picked that one up. This is a cool one right here. Uh, Bowman, I'm sorry, a Topps Gold, Barry Larkin. It had a, it had like a little Dean corner before a quarter, and it's a, and it's a card that I, I think I need. I was like, I'll pull that one. Yeah, I love the whole Bowman Heritage set. You're exactly right. So, Yeah, man. We, you and I know, and everybody who knows my channel, I'm not about that. I'm not about that life, man. I don't care about the subs, man. You mean this? You mean these Bo Jackson shirtless ones, Phil? I just pulled two of them out of that box I opened. Yeah, buddy. I just pulled two of them just for you. <laughs> yeah, I literally just opened this up and just did it. Oh, and then I pulled, I had my own rookie card explosion box. I just pulled this as well. And then if that wasn't good enough, I pulled a couple Larry Walker rookie cards with my rookie card explosion box. And so, yeah. I also picked up Barry Larkin's credit card. So here's a credit card of Barry Larkin that I needed for my uh, Barry Larkin collection. And then I don't think I had a lot of these classic cards. I'm th I thought about uh, Phil to, to restore a few of them myself. Uh, probably with PWCC's help. I'll see if I can restore a few of them, and maybe I can get those nines to tens. That's what I'm shooting for. So I have a couple of the Bo the Barry Larkin classic cards, but I, I couldn't remember which ones I had, so I went ahead and just picked up the couple ones that I thought I needed. And if I do, if I don't need them, then I'll just upgrade because I think the quality on the ones I picked up are pretty good. There's another Bowman, I'm sorry, classic, 1990 classic, Barry Larkin. And then I got a numbered Nomo card from uh, the upper deck. This is 560, 53 out of 9,000. So 5,653 out of 9,000. It's kind of cool to have Nomo on the back hitting. But I did not have that card, so I needed that for my Bowman. 
I bought my Nomos. Then I got another Barry Larkin caught one of those, like, you know, um, not approved, unauthorized baseball cards that they did in the 80s and 90s, a lot of. So I'll pick that one up. And then I got the winner version of the gold of this Barry Larkin, the winner, winner, chicken dinner. I know, dude. It's so unbelievable. There was 9,000 of them. And I found one. I mean, I was it was just it was just my lucky day. I couldn't believe I got that one. Because they're so hard to find, they're so rare. So rare, dude. So I got the gold winner. And then I got this Don Mattingly card. Apparently it's young superstar. I don't know if it is, I don't know if I had this card or not, but it was a good action shot of Don. It's in good shape. It's a 1988. It was like score. Is it a score? Yeah, score. I don't think I have this one. If I do, it's not as good a condition. So I picked up that Don Mattingly. And I'll end up doing a I'll end up doing a, a, a video on this anyways. I don't think I have this card. This was cool. This is a diet Pepsi. Oh, hold on. Wait, this is in like Spanish. Yeah, I think this is Spanish. This is cool. I've never seen this one before. But it's a Barry Larkin Diet Pepsi Spanish card. If you see the top, it says in Spanish. Siri de Collection. Maybe it's French now that I look at it. I'm not for sure. I don't know. The, I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Let me take a look here and see if it's what it says. I'm not for sure. But I never seen this one before. I like this car though. It's it's uh been uh it's been um what's the word? It's been um um uh, cleaned up. They erased all the logos. So that was a cool car to have. And this is a cool one. I didn't have this uh Diamond King of Don Matt or Don Matt, Barry Larkin. I mean, Barry Larkin and Don Matt look almost exactly the same, so it's kind of hard to believe. So you have that one. And this is a kind of cool card. I didn't know this card existed, but it's uh, it says Dynamic Dodgers, and it has Mike Piazza. They also have Nomo on it. So this right here was a, just a regular card in the set with Mike Piazza, Eric Karos, Raul Mondesi and Hideo Nomo. I've never seen this card before, but I thought, Psh, I'll take you. I'll buy that for a dollar. So I picked that up. And then the two big ones. Yeah, it's a nice card. Then the two kind of cool ones I picked up was a Buster Posey rookie card for a quarter. And it's in like really good shape. Like the corners are all good. It's a tops card. It's the number two on the set. I couldn't believe this card was just sitting there for her. And I was like, Tracy, how much? He's like, two bucks. I was like, okay. I'll do that for $2. And then the card that I think is the coolest, and I know it's probably not worth very much, and I don't think it's considered a rookie card. And that's fine because I didn't own this card. I, I had seen it, but I don't think I own it. And if I do own it, it's... Not in good shape. It's not in my. It's not in my actual rookie card, but it is a 1994 rookie card shortstops tops. You got Derek Jeter on this card, and this card's in great shape. As you can see, it's in this top loader. And I was like, "How much?" He's like, "A quarter." And I'm like, "A quarter for a Derek Jeter rookie card or prospect card or whatever you want to call it." And he was like, "Yep." And, I mean, it's in great shape. It would be different like, some soft corners or whatever. But, yeah. Yeah, Tracy, Tracy, that's four sharp corners in Greenfield, Indiana. But it's not the four sharp corners that people talk about online. It's not the same store. This is a brick-and-mortar mom-and-pop store that I go to next to my house, uh, where I work in my home. It's about maybe 25 minutes from my house. And it's, like, five minutes away from where I work. 
So it's Dom, it's Dom, this Derek Jeter, I couldn't pass up for a quarter. I'm sure if, if it gets graded and it's, uh, you know, graded to a nine or a 10, I'm sure I can get more than a quarter for it because I'm all about, I'm going to try to start selling most of my stuff on consignment at PWCC because they're the most, you know, reliable and reputable source out there. And I got all these MVP cards I don't need. All these MVP cards. Yeah, that's his eBay store. My friend Tracy, who owns that card shop, his eBay store is called Chubbs with 1B, 1995. And if you tell him I sent you, he may work something out with you on cost-wise. He might work with you on shipping. He might add some other cards in there. He might he might cut the shipping in half. He might, you know, if you add, you buy more from him and you say, hey, I want to buy X amount of things, if you ever you hit his honey spot, whatever that is, he'll probably give you a discount or a deal if you decide to go with him. And he has tons of stuff, everything under the sun. So... But anyways, guys, I've been on here about an hour and going on 10, 12 minutes. All good. I'm glad you used them. Make sure you use my name. I don't get anything for it. He just likes to know where he's getting his business from. And I send him business multiple times, and he always appreciates it, but he's not giving me anything for free. And I don't make any money. I don't. I mean, he might say, hey, you can have a couple quarter cards for free or something. But it's not like he's like, hey, I'm going to you know, give you – a $50 gift card for my store. It's nothing like that at all. It's like, you know, my bill's $25. He might take five bucks off of it once in a while. So, but really it's more for you guys because he's going to give you a good deal. If you say, hey, Jason sent me your, my, your way, he'll be like, oh, okay. And then like, I know Raphael's been buying from him and Raphael's been getting discounts because he buys a lot from him. Cool. Good, 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 man. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. He's a good guy. He's a reliable guy, man. Like he'll and he do, he'll do you right. If you for some reason get something that he that is not what you thought it was, or it came it came messed up or or it didn't get there correctly, even though he's been doing this forever. So I doubt that those things would happen, but you know, it happens. You know, if you let him know, he'll set you right, he'll make you right, which is more than what we can say for a lot of you uh um, eBay channels, or I'm sorry, eBay uh, sellers that don't care about their uh, customers. Tracy's not that guy. He definitely cares. He's, he, he's a reputable dude. But all right, guys, I'll let you go. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully it was fun. It is definitely all about the good people in the hobby. Hope you all had a good time. I had a great time. I can't believe how much luck I had on those cards. Hope you all enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, Peace out.